like most about being here? Um, I like the camaraderie, you know, mm -hmm. being with my battle. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. I like making a long-lasting friendship. Coming to school, we get a break every hour. Like, I love it. We get a break yeah, every okay, 45 minutes. Always. Yo, what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? Uh, let me see, though. The phone privileges. And the freedom. What's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? We know the. Boy, what? Big top, you know what's going on. Okay, channel by Saber Guns to the face. The fun, the fun thing about AIT, I ain't captured. We got a little bit of freedom. Joey, what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? You're not gonna answer me? What's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? It what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? Man, what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? Man, the, it ain't the food. <laughs> it ain't the food. Bustos, what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? The breaks. That's it? So, Cissé, what's your favorite thing about being AIT so far? Shit. I'm in my phone. Cuba, what's your favorite thing about being an AIT so far? Pass. Hoyos, what's your favorite thing about being an AIT so far? He's not recording anymore. No, it's sad. I got, what's your name? I'm Hodge. I'm Angel. All right. So uh, starting off, we're going to basically talk about like just the daily things we do here at Fort Jackson, 42 Alpha, which is human resource AIT. Uh, so we wake up around like 4.30. That's when we're supposed to wake up. Yeah. Uh, formation, which is like accountability and stuff, uh, is like 5.15. So after that, we pretty much do um, PT. PT is pretty easy. Like um, we just do like these annoying drills, stretches, stretch from drills. To an hour. Yeah, half of them don't really help us, to be honest with you. Like it's just these weird stretches we do. Um, and that, yeah, sometimes depending on the drill sergeant, it lasts for like an hour, like those stretches alone. And then PT is like two hours itself, um, more like an hour, 40, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, sometimes we go on runs after we do our drills and stuff. I hate running. But yeah, I mean, I like when we do sprints, mm -hmm. but far as like windy. running three or four miles, I hate it. I don't, I don't like we doing that. We would never run that much here. Nah, but Some, I, we just run like from that road to that road and then half the time it hurt my shins like we don't really go that far like i think the most we've ever done is like three miles and they call like what do they call company runs that we do yeah yeah i mean we got a whole track that's what like 450 meters but we never use it yeah i don't know they say we have to reserve it or something but y'all used it more when y'all were at charlie uh we rarely use it at charlie uh-huh we did the 36s we did 36. We did like three times. Lot, though. Uh, we did, yeah, we did about two or three times too at the track. But you have to reserve the track or something. So it's, I don't it know. makes no sense if nobody uses it. Literally. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we do when we wake up. Um, So as far as like school and stuff, oh no, let's go to the DFAC first. So DFAC is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, To be honest, the breakfast is probably like the best thing here. The rest is just. Not good. Yeah, the breakfast is the good. best thing here, but it's very repetitive. Very the only thing they switch out is the French toast, the waffles, and the pancakes. Yeah. Everything else gonna be exactly the same every day. Mm -hmm. Egg whites, hash brown. Egg whites be good though. The usual meats. Yeah. Sometimes they have stuff at the uh, salad bar. They got like have watermelon. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite is the cantaloupe. I love it. Oh yeah, they do have some. They have a lot of fruits and stuff. Like the salad bar is actually decent. The salad like, bar the only thing that's fresh. Too. For real. But like lunch, lunch is just God, terrible. Man. Like terrible like sometimes like it's hard for me to even eat that food like i'd be surviving off of vending machines at school like most of the time yeah, i but, would i would rather uh i'd rather eat like an mre honestly yeah mres are good people don't understand mres they got all these type of snacks depending on which one you get yeah, they're not, none of them yeah, good snacks. but they better than lunch defect i think nah, the chili with me Chili with beans That's is great. I don't. I, I ain't tried that. I don't like none of them. My favorite one is the chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. But um, yeah. So as far as school, which is like the whole reason why we go to AIT, um, it's not bad. Uh, for human resource, like we really just like research a bunch of things and we just control F like to find information most of the time. Um, the tests are multiple choice, so it's not that hard. Like, it's pretty hard for you to fail like most of the tests there's like one particular test maybe two that are a little iffy um you just have to be good at like researching and like finding information 
Just um, read the question, honestly. Yeah, make sure you read the question. Don't yeah. second guess yourself on a lot of So the, our job is not pertaining. Like, nobody's gonna come up to us and be like, and ask us a quick, uh, a trick question about anything dealing with human resources, but I don't understand why the questions on the test was an actual a trick question. It has nothing to do with it. You gotta exactly. make an 80 or above to pass. Oh, yeah, you gotta make an 80 or above, um, or you have to retake it. Unless you're from overseas. Yeah, they they get overseas, overseas like 70. No. But, uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, if you do happen to fail the second test, you get recycled, and that basically means you just get sent back to another company um, from, like, starting over to, like, not starting over, but, like, you get put into another class, and you have to wait till they catch up to where you left off at, like wherever you failed. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of depressing, I feel like, because it's like, you gotta like, you know, kind of readjust your mindset, you know, because it's not, you know. And it's gonna push you back about two weeks of like your original graduation date. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, but yeah, we just, we finished school like, about what, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah about two weeks ago. Hmm? Oh, you feel, yeah, you feel, if you fail, you know, two tests, again, after you recycle, they'll make, you gotta oh, get, yeah. you gotta change your MOS, you gotta be a re Yeah, you gotta get reclass, and that did happen to a couple of our, uh, people that were in our platoon. A couple of our battle buddies. Yeah, battle buddies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, you, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it is what, it is. it's not that hard, though, like, but, um, what else, what else, what else? It's uh, mentally demanding. Mentally, definitely. Like, you, you will be mentally drained from the lack of sleep. And they're just dealing with, with certain individuals. Like, be, be prepared for high school drama, unfortunately. Yeah. It, it's coming your way. If you come here, it's coming your way. Not just, not yeah. just yeah. being a 42 Alpha, but The just whole army in general. The whole army in general. Them, them, it's ghetto. From, I say, reception to AIT. Until you get in the big army. Until you, until you get in the big army, it's, it's gonna be part of the United States Army High School. Yep, a lot of grown people be acting like they still in high school. One of yeah. And they be the main ones. And they be, be the main ones, exactly. 29, 30, 31 years old. With in the, kids. In the With middle kids. of drama. Terrible. You would never thought they had kids. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, as far as that, okay, so like he said, like lack of sleep, that's a big thing. Like sometimes we wake up, like we have a ruck. A six, because we've had a six mile, eight mile, and then the last thing was a four mile. Like you literally have to wake up around two thirty, and then we step off at four thirty for the rug. But imagine having to go on a rug, come back, go to chow, then have to go to school, and you get released the same time same as like a regular same day. Amount of time. Like, the school is still a nine to five, like a regular same job thing. outside of here. Same, no rest break, no. On that same day, what well, you got up at two thirty for the rug, you rug, you come back, you go to breakfast. Go to uh, you go you go back to the beds to take a shower with a with personal hygiene. You get like an hour and a half for that. Yeah. Right, so no no nap in between that time. Go to school, get out of school. <coughs> then you have some type of training, like um, either land nav or what's the other one? Task and battle drill. Yeah, task and battle drills. And then you go home, <laughs> like in the beds. Then you get a chance to relax if you don't have PM cleaning or mm -hmm. anything of that sort. Yeah. But you won't have training like at the school every day. It's only only certain. Sorry, days. Only certain. Days. I don't know where it's, the days you most tired. You just mm -hmm. go ahead. That's true. <laughs> uh, and no, oh, so about the barracks. So the barracks, right? Like, it's. I feel like it depends on your company. Um, they came from another company, uh, so their point of view on it was a little different. When I first got to the company I was in. It wasn't that bad, but I feel like the previous platoon before us made it hard for us because of the things they got, like the incidents that happened with them and like just stuff that happened around them. Like it kind of like, they kind of pushed it on us a little bit and it made it hard for us. And a lot of things were like cracked down on. Uh, oh shoot, got the oh, shoot, it's the win. But um, yeah, that was uh, the only thing about it. Um, but other than that, like it's really not that bad. Uh, sometimes we have like we have pass on the weekend, so we just can't go off post, which no is kind of crazy to me. Uh, yeah, I was looking forward to it. No off post. No off not post. Here if, not here at Fort Jackson. Nope. That's something I was really looking forward to, to be honest. 
But um, yeah, we get like uh, we can still order food and stuff. We can go out to the PX. We can go around base, you know. But there's not much on base, to be honest with you. Not um, here at Fort Pitt. Um, Pizza Hut, yeah. like behind us. Right behind us. Yeah. Um, Starbucks, Burger King, yeah. and, Popeyes. and Popeyes Chicken. They kind of far. You really got to get a taxi, to be honest. Um, and then in the, we have a PX. They have a couple of more places to eat, but very limited, very subpar. Yeah. Do not eat at this Pizza Hut. Very greasy. Yeah. Very low vibration. <laughs> it's very. It I might have to go get some after this video because I don't feel like ordering Uber Eats. But um, I didn't miss the basketball. Oh, oh well. But um, yeah. So that's there's that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, so around the end, like on week six, we have no, not week six. Week six, we're done with school. Week seven is week seven. Or week eight. Week CTE. Week eight, right? Week seven. Okay, yeah. So, so week CTE. Yeah, week seven, we do this thing called CTE, which is like everything we learn with like human resource. We basically go out to the field for about four days and we like practice our job. Like we sit inside of a classroom for like a S1 shop. I, yeah, S1 shop, not a classroom. And we sit in there for hours and like just work on like, you know, casualty reports, just all the human resource stuff in the army. Um, it was kind of fun, but it was boring at times because we're most of the time just sitting there waiting for like emails to come in. No, yeah, you constantly monitor emails, mm -hmm. um, which is the, the boring part where you can fall asleep and miss some things. When yeah. something happened, um, you were shipped up for an hour or two with nothing, and all of a sudden you have 17 casualty reports. Yeah. So um, you got to try to stay up, try yeah, to get some true. coffee without mold in it. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, that coffee, some of the coffee machines. It, I, the, I'm not gonna lie, the S1 shops in there, they look like they ain't been touched in over. They did, it was good. 30, 30 years. years. Everything. Yeah. When you go to sleep, freaking instruct. But honestly, I mean, yeah. we slept outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead and tell her, tell her man, about that time. Man, I was asleep. I was asleep. Got caught by the dang on the instruct. She talked to come on, Ingram. Come on, Ingram. And it was another better buddy. Had us out to do with freaking three, five second rushes. Mm -hmm. I, I was too mad because other people mm -hmm. was caught asleep. She was mad. She was hot. She was mad. People had got caught asleep, mm -hmm. and she told them to lay down on the floor and said that was dead. Mm -hmm. And I was mad. I had to go out there and do uh, three, five, six. Mm -hmm. I'm up. They see me. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm up, man. I'm, I'm up. up. They see me. Just I'm write down. me a counseling. I don't want <laughs> Cap to do 4856 is crazy. <laughs> Just give me a counseling. <laughs> I, I would rather lose pants than do any any kind of physical activity that I don't feel like doing. Ah, for real. <laughs> like. And all another thing is, mass punishment still exists here. Like, you think it goes away after basic, it does not. I don't it's know about the other places. Before Jackson, no, it does not go and away. And you can still get your phone to the door. You definitely can. We actually got, um, we actually, uh, we had, we were, we were able to, you know, play our consoles and stuff when we first got here. And then, like I said, due to, I guess, a lot of things that were happening, um, we just, they we had got nothing to do with us. Nothing, really. Yeah, this is on there. They took away our privilege to do that. TVs, consoles, everything. Handheld consoles as well. Uh, I, from what I understand, some people was doing something um, with the previous platoon. Mm -hmm. So that took away the privileges of the platoon that's behind them, which makes absolutely no, no sense. sense at all. And then uh, they wonder why the morale is low or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what do they call it? You said what you had to do. You said what the right thing. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, they wonder why people are not in the best mood, but we mm -hmm. um, we lose privileges for stuff that we mm -hmm. didn't do. Yeah, it, it makes no sense. And that's why, honestly, I'm mean, 100% honest, I, I had more fun in basic training. Uh, me too. Mm -hmm. I, and I was here at Fort Jackson for basic training. Yeah, see, they, you were here in Fort Jackson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were here at Fort Jackson. I was at Fort Leonard Wood. I was at Fort Jackson, but I had to come to Fort Leonard Wood because they didn't have any space for us at basic. So we had to go there. And I came back here for AIT. But I I had a better time in basic training. Yeah. I know we're not here to have yeah. fun and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. You yeah. would think AIT would be better. More laid back. Yeah, best but, individual training with mass punishment. What's, and I'm what's not, it yeah, individual about yeah, that? I'm not saying it's like that for everywhere, because I've heard different stories from some of my other friends that went to basic. I mean, right. bit, went to my basic. But uh, here, it's... I don't know. It's different. It just depends on what company you get in, honestly. That too. That too. The leadership is the leadership is different depending on yeah. My my other company I had like way more fun mm -hmm. and I feel like I could like really feel, like, you know. I mm -hmm. felt more at home. I feel like yeah. uh, they were more approachable if I had any concerns. Yep. Versus um you rather not say anything about you rather not bring any concerns to to my leadership 
because instead of helping the situation, they just punish the masses. Without mm -hmm. punishing those individuals, it's causing whatever trouble it is. Exactly. I mean, cause, because if you punish everybody, they're going to continue to do the same thing because they're not being singled out. Yep. Yep. That's true. But, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, Chelsea, we forget anything else? No. That's pretty much it. My advice to anybody that's joining the Army, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say, well, should I say that? Know well, why you join. Yeah, know why you join. And remember that. And remember that and stick to it because there will be times where you feel mentally down or like maybe physically, I don't know. Or over it. Like, I don't yeah, know. I'm like, here. I want to leave. Mm -hmm. Just remember why you came and the benefits that come with it. Yeah. And the Army is really, in my personal opinion, it's more, it's more of a mental thing than it is physical. And like they said, like if you remember your reason why you came, that'll like help you push back to it. Yep. And it's what you make it. It's what it you make it. it. You can't base the army off of like a certain experience. Like, oh, my AIT suck. Now the whole, you know what I'm saying? My whole career gonna suck. It's not, it's what you make it. And it's a mental thing. Yeah. And who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. Well, that's gonna be it for uh, today's video. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video.